Hardware development is complex and requires precise planning, execution, and coordination across multiple teams and departments. Most hardware companies have a need to go faster and become more efficient to stay competitive in today's fast-moving markets, but are stifled by traditional waterfall processes. In the waterfall process, development progresses through a series of checklist-based stages. This means that risky assumptions are made before the project starts, hardware designs are frozen before real-world testing, changes made late are costly, and teams are under constant pressure to take shortcuts. However, the limitations of the waterfall process have led to the adoption of agile methods which have revolutionized software development. Teams have discovered developing applications in short cycles consistently leads to benefits in speed, efficiency, and better software. Many organizations see the success of Agile and attempt to apply software methods directly to hardware-based systems, but get frustrated. This is because software processes such as Scrum and SAFE were not created with the needs of physical products in mind. Teams struggle to apply Agile to manage lead times, communicate schedules, and deliver working hardware in short cycles. What if there was a way for hardware teams to get the benefits of Agile while solving the more complex challenges of hardware development. Since 2017, the Modified Agile for Hardware Development, or MAD, framework has helped hardware-based teams get the benefits of Agile. The MAD framework is based on universal Agile principles, but adapts them to the unique challenges of physical product development. While adding critical elements to drive rapid development of products, ranging from semiconductors to automobiles. With the MAD approach, Teams collaborate to break hardware and software development down into smaller, more manageable learning and execution cycles. Starting with an agile vision brief, the MAD on-ramp enables collaborative activities to quickly initiate a project in the right direction. In a matter of days or weeks, the team works through user stories, develops a common understanding of potential product attributes, identifies key areas of risk and innovation needs, and identifies critical early milestones with an initial iteration plan. At the end of the on-ramp, the team has the start of a focused backlog ready to execute. At the core of the MAD framework, the flexible iteration plan guides the team toward project success. With each IPAC iteration, teams work toward a vertical slice of the system and establish milestones to integrate electrical, mechanical, software, and other elements. Work toward a demonstrable outcome as some form of prototype. Build alignment with all stakeholders, including external suppliers, and gain valuable feedback from customers. After creating IPAC goals and acceptance criteria, MAD teams prioritize their backlog and execute tasks in two-week sprints. With each iteration, the product is refined, teams manage lead times and dependencies, and crucial artifacts such as the architecture and bills of materials as the project moves closer to production. Agile methods can be extended beyond product management spanning the entire product life cycle, from portfolios to sustaining engineering. Organizations adopting Agile for hardware report a range of benefits. Prioritizing work based on customer feedback and technical validation lowers risk and increases customer value throughout the project. MAD framework adopters also report benefits in decision-making, focus, and their ability to hit project targets. The first benefit they see is lower stress and higher team satisfaction. Whether you're starting with a waterfall process or attempting to adapt agile software methods, the MAD framework can help you improve your hardware development speed and efficiency. To learn more, find a certified MAD service provider or enroll in a training program, visit www.madframework.com.